So let's learn uh, the cover up method to find the uh, partial fraction decomposition. So let's do uh, this problem. So let's say uh, find find the partial fractions for partial fractions. Let's say of let's do this problem. Let's say we have 2 s squared plus s minus 1 over s, s minus 1 and s plus 2. So what we're going to do, we're going to write the form first. So the, what is the form here? So, uh, so the form is, so we have 2 s squared plus s minus 1 over s s minus 1 s plus 2 identical to a over s plus b over s minus 1 c over s plus 2 so we write different linear factors and then what we can do uh, we can use the cover up method so the argument is this so let's say uh, you want to find a if you want to find a we're gonna cover up the corresponding uh, term in the denominator so that means we uh, s so we're gonna remove s from the left hand side and then pick the rest and plug in the value that makes that term zero for example you can see that uh, if you plug in uh, s equal zero this is gonna make this term zero so that's exactly what we're gonna plug in but we're gonna plug into the rest of the term so that's the argument always pick the rest of the term so for example let's see so according to this argument a is simply uh, we're going to ignore s so we have 2 s squared uh, plus s minus 1 over so we ignore s so we have only s minus 1 and s plus 2 so we're going to plug in s equals 0 here so that means if you do that then you're going to get negative 1 from the top in the bottom it is negative 1 times 2 once you simplify you get one half so that's a to find b the same argument now for b what we're going to do uh, we're going to cover up uh, s we're going to co cover up s minus one term so that means we're going to cover up this one so that means here that one so let's remove that term and then plug in uh, to the rest of the term so that means uh, for b you're going to get 2 squared plus s minus one over uh, we have so we remove s minus one term so we have s s plus two we're going to substitute s equal one now because why s equal one because we know that when you apply s equal one that makes this term zero so that's the exact term you're going to plug in so that means uh, we're going to uh, see that in the top it is two plus one minus one over one times three so once you plug in uh, simplify you're going to get 2 over 3 so that's p for the c same argument we're going to remove s plus 2 from the denominator so that means uh, yeah so let's highlight that part so uh, so what are you going to do uh, we're going to remove this term from the denominator so we're going to remove that from the denominator and for the rest of the term we're going to plug in uh, s equal negative 2 because that's going to make that term 0 so let's do that so we have 2 s squared plus s uh, minus 1 over we have s s minus 1 we were going to plug in s equal negative 2 so once you plug in that you have 2 negative 2 squared uh, plus negative 2 minus 1 over we have negative 2 uh, negative 3 if you simplify you end up getting 5 over 6 so that's the cover up method and it quickly gives you the values of ABC. This works for different linear factors.